them no reason to stare. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're discussing everything we know about the Dear Evan Hansen movie so far. But I'm hoping, I'm hopeful that it can come together and we can find a safe way to do it. And Creating new uh, words and music to come out of their, their mouths. You're really different than I thought you were going to be. Are you excited to see Dear Evan Hansen on the big screen? Let us know in the comments. This upcoming film is based on the hit stage musical about a teenage boy with broken self-esteem, as well as a broken arm. On the outside, always looking in, will I ever be more than I've always been? Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass, waiting through a window. Evan Hansen soon finds himself in the middle of a tragedy, which leads to a misunderstanding, which leads to a lie, which leads to a movement which results in an unforgettable coming-of-age story. Dear Evan Hansen has not only been praised for its music, but also its depiction of depression, social anxiety, and the confusion of being a teenager. Earning nine Tony nominations, Dear Evan Hansen won six, including Best Musical. Dear Evan Hansen marked the first Tony win for the songwriting duo Benj Pasek and Justin Paul, who had previously worked on Dogfight and A Christmas Story the Musical. Dear Evan Hansen will be the first Pasek and Paul musical to be adapted into a theatrical film, although they're no strangers to Hollywood. City of stars, are you shining just for me? The two won an Oscar for the song City of Stars from La La Land and took home a Golden Globe for This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. This is me. Their other screen credits include Trolls and the live-action remake of Aladdin. In addition to serving as executive producers on the Dear Evan Hansen film, Pasek and Paul will contribute a new original song for the character of Alana Beck. At one point, narrative documentary filmmaker Max Hechtman showed interest in bringing Dear Evan Hansen to the silver screen. I think media can help address this issue in a healthy way if they do it the right way. Hechtman said in 2017, quote, It sparked something inside me when I first saw it. I want my work to have that exact same effect on people, even if it's just one person. After Universal picked up the film rights in 2018, though, the directing job went to Steven Chbosky. Shabosky has worked on the screenplays for a couple of movie musicals, including Rent and the live-action Beauty and the Beast. Have you really read every one of these books? Huh? Well, not all of them. Some of them are in Greek. <laughs> Was that a joke? Are you making jokes now? He's best known for writing and directing The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which he adapted from his own young adult novel. You see things? And you understand. You're a wallflower. What is it? What's wrong? I didn't think anyone noticed me. Given the parallels between Charlie Kalmeckis and Evan Hansen, Shabosky seems like an inspired choice to translate this material. While Shabosky is new to Dear Evan Hansen, the film is still sticking close to its Broadway roots. The stage show earned writer Steven Levinson a Tony for Best Book of a Musical. We all get that people are using social media to, you know, to prop up their own sense of self and uh, putting themselves into tragedies to fulfill some kind of personal wish. Levinson has since made the leap from the stage to the small screen. He served as a co-developer and co-writer on the biographical limited series Fosse Verdon, which scored him two Primetime Emmy nominations. It's your show. It's, it's always been a show. Levinson is returning to scribe the screenplay for Dear Evan Hansen, meaning we should anticipate a faithful adaptation. So much of the way that this story is told is through dialogue, and so much of the songs come from ideas and a foundation that Stephen has laid out. Levinson will serve as an executive producer as well. The producing team is being rounded out by Mark Platt and Adam Siegel, both of whom have proven to be award magnets. The two already won a Primetime Emmy for producing the Grease live television special. Platt would win another Emmy, this time a Primetime Creative Arts one, for producing Jesus Christ Superstar live in concert. Jesus, 
believe the things they say of you. You really do believe this talk of God is true. He's also well acquainted with a fellow named Oscar, receiving nominations for Bridge of Spies and La La Land. And yes, there is a relation between Mark Platt and Ben Platt, the actor who originated the role of Evan on stage. They're father and son. Ben Platt has certainly come a long way since he played Benji in the first two Pitch Perfect movies. Ben. Since you've been gone. Thank you. Performing live gives me such a rush. At age 23, his performance as Evan Hansen made Platt the youngest person to solely win the Tony for Best Actor in a Musical. And I've spent every single day of my life since then just madly in love with musical theater. It's where I found everything I've ever loved and where I, where I belong. And I'm just, I've dreamed every day since of being on this stage and, and being part of this community of artists. So this is insane. Platt went on to release his first studio album, Sing to Me Instead, and landed the lead role in Netflix's The Politician, which garnered him a Golden Globe nomination. I and I won't save the day. Yet, Dear Evan Hansen arguably remains Platt's greatest feat, and it's hard to imagine anyone else as the titular character. We're happy to say that Platt will likely reprise his role in the film, assuming that outside forces don't get in the way. Lift your head and look around. You will be fine. As of writing, Platt still has the youthful appearance required to play a high school senior. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, however, Dear Evan Hansen may not get rolling as quickly as the studio would like. If the film stays on the back burner for too long, Platt may be compelled to pass the torch to another actor. You know, some of us are getting a little long in the tooth, so I think it's like kind of a now or never kind of thing. Um, but I'm hoping, I'm hopeful that it can come together and we can find a safe way to do it. Platt told Deadline in July 2020, quote, We think this is obviously a story that would be really effective to tell on film, but it's a matter of can we make it happen in time for me to be conceivably young enough for the role? If the COVID guidelines prove that it's possible over the next few months, I think it's definitely a possibility. While Platt's casting isn't set in stone just yet, several actors are officially on board for the film. In August 2020, it was announced that Caitlin Deaver would star as Zoe Murphy, the girl of Evan's dreams. It's not okay. Who allowed you to be this beautiful? Who allowed you to be this beautiful? Who allowed you to take my breath away? Call the Who paramedics. Gave... Nope. Call the police, because there has been an emergency. I can't look right at it. Deaver has been on fire as of late with her roles in the comedy film Booksmart and the Netflix miniseries Unbelievable the latter of which brought her a Golden Globe nomination. So that he didn't believe me, well, I don't, what, why, why, would he, why would he say that? Although this will be her first movie musical, Deaver and her sister Maddie previously contributed to the soundtrack for the indie dramedy Tully. Forming the singing duo Beulah Bell, the sisters directed, produced, and appeared in a music video for their first single, Raleigh, in 2020. Fittingly enough, Caitlin Deaver and Ben Platt have a real-life BFF in common, Beanie Feldstein. Evan's school friend is being played by Amanda Stenberg, who landed their first major film role as Rue in The Hunger Games. You have to win. Stenberg has since broken out as the lead in movies like Everything Everything and The Hate You Give. If you don't see my blackness, you don't see me. I see you. You also may recognize them from the visual album Beyonce Lemonade, although that's only the tip of Stenberg's singing experience. In recent years, they've released a music video for the cover of Let My Baby Stay. Stenberg will also serve as a co-writer with Pasek and Paul on Alana's original song for the movie. Alana is expected to have a larger role in the film, which is only appropriate for a rising star of Stenberg's caliber. Creating new uh, words and music to come out of their, their mouths, and that's a really exciting thing. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Between Atypical and Alex Strangelove, we bet you've seen Nick Dodani, who will play Evan's friend Jared Kleinman. The back room of Cookie Eclipse. 
like at work. Yeah, the smell of chocolate chips was wafting through the air. Sounds magical. The supporting cast additionally includes Colton Ryan, who was the understudy for Connor Murphy on Broadway, but who will take on the role here. We were over the moon to hear Amy Adams and musical in the same sentence. She'll be playing the Murphy matriarch, Cynthia. Larry Murphy will be portrayed by Danny Pino of Law & Order SVU in Mayan's MC fame. Meanwhile, Evan's mom Heidi Hansen will be taken on by Julianne Moore. Dear Evan Hansen is already shaping up to be quite the ensemble piece, with a capable director and a writer who knows his way around the material. More information is forthcoming, but based on everything we know so far, all we see is light. Sincerely, Ms. Mojo. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.